The Bundesliga, often dominated by a team from the south. The Bavarians have fought off the battle from the team in the yellow and black. But a new power comes from the west. A new force rises from the Rhine. Welcome to Schalke 04. Alrighty then, folks. Yes, another game save to bring you. Alright then, folks. Yes, another game save to bring you. This time from my birth nation of Germany. Similar to that of my other current game save, the Pride of Edinburgh. Hope to provide multiple videos a week. And in this series, we're aiming for two, both on Tuesday and Thursday. And in each video, we hope to bring you three games per session. So I expect a bit more editing will be required with this uh, save. So anyway, let's bring you up to speed. This is the current state of play. We've played absolutely no games. We just went through preseason. Uh, so let's show you some of the intricate details. Here is the current state of play financially for FC Schalke. Yes, transfer kitty of just under half a million pounds with a wage budget of one million pounds. We are currently spending a good maybe 40 grand under that. So a little bit of room to add should we do that. I have brought in some additions. Let's take a look at the current squad. Here they are, some good high quality players. On the books with Leon Goretzka, who's constantly linked with the Premier League in the real world. And Konoplyanka, a Ukrainian midfielder, one time linked to Stoke and some other middle-of-the-road Premier League sides. Macha Nostagic, we know him from his uh, Man City days. Uh, he is one of the rocks of my defence and still only 24 years old. So they are my three top quality high-value players. Then we have another bunch of familiar players. Bentaleb, again, was in the Premier League with Tottenham. Just under 50 games there. Uh, Swiss international, youngster. Real Mbolo has been on fire in preseason. And we've got a youngish goalkeeper, a rough fireman. But they are the, the main plays. Let's have a look at some of the players that I brought in. Not many, to be honest. We've brought four guys in, uh, three of them on, on loan, and one of them on a free transfer. And also let four youngsters go to get some first team football. One is Olivia Oliviera from Chelsea, right back. Jeff Ryan Adelaine from uh, Arsenal, youngster, 19 years old, value just under 3 million. He's come in. Played a few games from the substitutes bench. Walter Montoya, young, uh, young-ish, uh, right-sided midfielder. Again, this guy haven't really got a spot for him at the moment, but uh, he's played a few games in the reserves. And the only actual transfer is Mohamed Rabio, is a defensive midfielder. You know, just getting some bodies in here because we were a little threadbare and I needed some uh, actual players for competition. So we're actually getting straight into the thick of things with the first game. Of the season, it is a league cup or a FA Cup or a German Cup, DFB Pokal, and we're up against a team called Jan Regensburg. They are in the second Bundesliga, so we are favourites. So let's get into this bad boy and start the match. So this will be my starting eleven. Like I said, I go for the three centre backs: uh, Farman and goal, Nastajic, Kura, Unsua. As for my wing backs, Osepeka, Kalguri, Bentaleb. Gorenska uh, are my two midfielders. Uh, Meyer's an attacking uh, midfielder. Up front, Bergstaller and Mbolo. So I'm hoping we can get off to a cracking start to the season with a win. So let's waste no more time and kick off. Go for a different sort of camera angle on this game safe. We get straight in there with a crunching tackle to open up the mat. Max Meyer building up from a little bit. Gorenska to Mbolo gives it away. Knoll now for Regensburg is hacked down by Calgary and they'll have a free kick. In fact, it was Goranska and he's off. So we're down 10 men already. We've had more possession, but they've uh, they've made it count. Oh dear, dear, dear. So let's have a flea in their ear. Not the greatest team talk to start the season. Hopefully we can uh, we can bounce back here. As we struggle to deal with second division, Regensburg, Mbolo, to Bergstaller, tucks it away. <whistles> Ten men Schalke away from home. Basically, one man up front to hold on tight. I know it's not really been the most impressive way to open the season. I was hoping for a three or four uh, game win. But when you're a man down, away. You know, it, it's a little difficult to to open up the floodgates. So I'm being a little bit more cautious, adding more bodies in midfield. There's, there's no point. Frankenstein can hold hold his own up there. 
Not a big fan of the DeSanto, to be honest with you. His time at Rovers was piss poor. It was not that great at Wigan. Um, I've already tried to ship him out here at Schalke, but no one's taking me up on any offers. So, it's up to him to prove me wrong. If he starts knocking in the goals, then uh, maybe maybe he might have a future with me. Oh, my goodness. Farman with acrobatics. Hollywood save to keep us in the mix here. It's not been, it's, it's not been, it's not been nice. It's not been pretty, but we got there. Goranska, my main man, got sent off. Made it challenging. Uh, yeah. Be better team talk. So game one, 1-0 one to win. You can call me the Sam Allardyce of the Bundesliga if you like. So we're on to the next one, which will be in the Bundesliga itself. So here we are at the start of the Bundesliga campaign for Schalke. And it's pretty much the hardest way to start the season. And it's up against early favourites, uh, Bayern Munich. So tricky one, this one. And since the last match in the uh, Cup, we have been drawn. We made it to the second round, obviously. But we've been drawn against Stuttgart. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. Is it a home game, away game? It's a home game against Stuttgart. And that'll take place in October. But right now, let's get this nasty piece of work uh, out the way. Let's see where we are. Basically, if we can hold our own, maybe and maybe uh, get a draw, then we could be in the mix. Uh, otherwise, I'm expecting a defeat. So this will be my start in the lineup. Goretzka remains. He must just be banned for the uh, for the German Cup. Nastasic, Kera, and Sua is my back three defense. Obviously, Farman in goal. He is skipper. Ozepeka, Kalguri, Bentaleb, Goretzka, Maya, Bergstahler, and Mbolo uh, are the eleven. And here is Bayern's lineup. Ulrich, I think Neuer's out. Alaba, Sewell, Hummels, Kimmich, Vidal, Martinez, Ribery, Muller, Robin, and Lewandowski up front. So, you know, pretty decent lineup. Let's go here and upset the odds. So, packed out stadium in Munich. So, Robin has possession. Obviously, Bayern kicked off the match. And they're building up nicely already. Consistently touching the ball. Everyone's getting a touch. Calgary heads it. Farman with an early save. And it's an early corner for Bayern. Um, I really should have gone into this uh, in a very defensive mode. But anyway. Free kick. Breaks now. Bergstahler. Pumps it long. No one's really going to get on with it. Nostalgic. Back to the keeper. And Sua trying over the top. Calgary to Mbolo. He breaks free. A bit of madness in the box. We're not going to finish it though. We found out. I think we had the opportunity to put it in the back of the net, but we failed. Vidal punts it long, eventually into the arms of Farman, who also punts it on back to Muller. Ribery. Lewandowski in the box. 73% possession, four by in five shots uh, thus far. Sua from distance. Peach of a goal. Deserves a replay, but ain't going to get it. Ribery. Lewandowski. Muller. Ribery. Kimmich. Kimmich again. It's 2-0. Like I said. Like I said, this was always uh, going to be a tricky one. I don't know. I know what I'm going to do. So... Yeah. Aggressive. So I made some changes here. I've gone for this kind of formation. And hopefully it'll get us back in. I'm actually going to go a little attacking. Which uh, is a bit ballsy against Bayern at their place. But anyway. I ain't afraid of no, uh, no ghost. Bookstaller. Fouls. And here come Bayern now. Knoblanka. Bookstaller gives it away. Lewandowski. Robin, who's injured by the way. To Muller, three 0 Okay. Ugh. And I'm, I'm looking at this being a uh, multi-season save. With us eventually challenging for the top honors, Goretzka. Burkstaller, but I think we definitely need a, a new striker. I was trying to bring in Giuseppe Rossi, um, but he's injured. You know, on a freebie. 31 years old. I, th I think he could do well on this thing. But the ball blocked it because of his injury. 3-0 at their place. 
is not, is not a bad bad. It's not terrible. I was realistically hoping we could um, get off the mark early doors. So in the next game, I think uh, is is Red Bull Leipzig, which is it's not a, it's not really an easy game either. But at least it's at our place. So maybe we can at least get something from that uh, result, the match. Right now they are pissing on us. That was that was a good good work goal. Nicely worked. If you want to see a replay, you gotta play it back yourself. I don't wanna rub salt into the wounds. Anyway, another highlight straight from kickoff. Probably gonna be five for Bayern. Uh Knoplianka. Look Stala. Bentaleb. We've had, we've had we've had two good chances. That was our second. Uh and we didn't make them count. So a bit of a stinker for Schalke here. Oh, he put it in the back of the net, but uh, didn't count. Here they come again. Are they going to make it five? Kingsley Common. Yes, he does. Okay, I, three nil was not bad. Five nil. We're getting a little. Uh, we're getting a little shirty here. It could knock morale. Trying to uh, soften the blow there, but 5 0 stuffing uh, puts us at rock bottom of the Bundesliga. Okay, our third and final game of this video sees Schalke open up their home campaign in the Bundesliga against Red Bull Leipzig, uh, who currently sit third in the Bundesliga after opening up their uh, Bundesliga stint, I guess, against FC Köln. They picked up a win. Obviously, we suffered that humiliation against Bayern. So here is my starting 11 for this most important game. I think we really need to get a good result here against Leipzig. But Koch's coming in at uh, right wing back. And I'm bringing in Naldo at my centre back. Hopefully, uh, you know, his maturity and experience could add a bit more uh, structure at the back. Knoppelianka on the bench. DeSanto on the bench. Caliguri on the bench. Um, and here we go. So, um, it's, it's a little frustrating because I thought we had a really good preseason uh, playing in this formation with the majority of these players they seem to gel on and, and, and some of the opposition that we played on preseason were no pushovers so let's see if we can at least get something on the board this thus far coke gives us a corner five minutes in doesn't come to nothing garenska i need to really get the best out of him the buying game was a shambles another corner and Bowler again. Uh. So I'm already starting to see some issues with uh, with my team. We cannot put the ball in the back of the net. We struggled in the cup. Well, we should have really put two or three away. That would have given us some nice confidence. And here we go. Leipzig building. Paulson. Deadly player. Forsberg. Timo Werner. And we're under the cosh already. The Schalke. Faithful. Gonna be a little bit meh with me. <laughs> and I'll be itchy. I may be itchy to get back in the hot seat straight away. After this one. So. Disappointing to lose. Paulson. What is this? Penalty? Oh my days. Farman saves it. Big save. Keeps us in this one. Goretzka's picked up an injury. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Oh my goodness. He's he's proven to be a bit of a, a bit of a liability at the moment, Goretzka. I'm not winning them over with my uh with my team talks. Let's go. I'm going a bit more attacking. We're at home, people. We're at home. Sabetzla. Keita, as long as we're in Liverpool in the summer. Is that another penalty? No mistake this time. And Leipzig are 2-0 up. So we're going to do this the hard way. Looks like we're going to do this Bundesliga business the hard way. So it's going to be an entertaining ride, I'm sure. But we need, especially in the next episode, to start getting some wins on the board. But the Bundesliga is not an easy league. We're, we're off the mark. We've got a goal. 
which is which is which is a good start. Bergstaller. It's, it is my area which I'm concerned about, which is the strikers. Paulson, Sabletza, Demi, Kaita. It's so fast that I can't keep up with the names. It's three one, three one. It is frustrating. I had I had high hopes for this Schalke team. At the minute, my high hopes go nowhere. Bergstaller, though, well, he's not giving up the ghost. You would have thought Werner would put that away. Here he is again involved with this extra bit of play for Leipzig. Saved by Farman. Keeps us in it, but only for how long? Mackenzie, youngster, breaks. He's got a man in the middle. A little greedy little shit. Really little shit. He had, he had, if he pulled it back, we would have, we would have been level. I'm sure of it. Coke, Insua, Mackenzie, Coke. It's a Kapecha, Buckstaller. On a hat trick. Last five minutes. Insua, farm and boots it to Knoplianka. Mackenzie. So eventually going to break to Timo Werner now. Buckstaller, DeSanto. Oh, corner for Schalke. Anything left in the tank, boys. Anything left in the tank. Final three minutes. Stasic was a, with a good clear uh, tackle there to save our day. Well, not really save because it's about to end flat. Corner for Leipzig. Three minutes of injury time. This could be the final highlight. Kaita, final relative highlight. Farman boots it to Santo. It looks like it's going to go uh, Leipzig's way. Last 30 seconds. Anything in the tank? Bergstaller, DeSanto, fouled. Anything there? No. It wasn't too bad. We did put up a fight, but it, you know, it's miserable. Not really started uh, the, the, the series too well. Three matches in... 1-1 uh, in the league, were a scrapey 1-0 win against a lower division outfit, and then two pretty heavy defeats, um, one to Bayern and the second just there to Leipzig. So, I'm going to show it to you, the plain old facts, we are rock bottom of the Bundesliga. So a lot to do, uh, but plenty of time to do it hopefully. Um, so join me next time, next video will be live on Thursdays. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves. The Pride of Edinburgh, featuring Hibernian, and Reach for the Summit, featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe, ciao for now.